In this video, I'll be using Group Policy to install progressive web apps with Brave Browser. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about installing policy templates to manage pre browser settings via group policy. And here you can see the objective for this video. The web apps that I will be installing is Twitter, Telegram, and also Spotify. Also, here you can see the location to the setting and the setting that I will be configuring. And also there is a PowerShell snippet that I will be using to create a JSON object that is required to create this policy. And now I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy. So I'll go to tools, group policy management, and then I will right click on group policy objects, select new. I will name the policy brave settings. Then I will click OK. I will expand group policy objects selected the policy that I created, I will right click on it and select edit. And because I will be creating this policy for my domain computers, I will go to computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, and then Brave. I will select Brave and then somewhere in the bottom, we have this setting right here named configure list of forced installed web apps. I will click on it. Then I will enable this setting. And here we need to provide a JSON object that contains all the web apps that we want to install. And for this step, I will go back to my GitHub page because like I said, I have this PowerShell snippet here. And as you can see, basically we are creating a PowerShell object and then we're converting it into a JSON object. And here we need to provide a few settings like if we want a desktop shortcut, where we want to launch it and also the URL to the web app itself. Anyways, now I'll copy this snippet, go back to my server. Here I will open a PowerShell window. We don't need any administrative privileges to run this snippet. I will insert the snippet and press enter. And as you can see, we get this JSON object in text format. So I'll select it, copy it, and I will insert the value here. Then I will click apply and OK. And that's basically it. Now we can close this window. And here I will go to my details tab and for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because this policy currently has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now, after creating the policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers where we want to deploy the web apps. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. This organization unit holds all of my computers. So I'll select the policy and hold, then I will drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. First, I will open Brave and as you can see, nothing is happening. And that's because uh, the group policy is not updated on this machine yet. So let's now update it manually. I will go to my start menu, search for CMD and here I will insert GP update and let's press enter and now let's wait a bit and as you can see the policy was updated successfully but we get this message right here saying that Windows firewall has blocked some Brave browser features and here I will just click cancel and as you can see we have successfully installed the web apps if I click on X it opens Twitter if I open telegram it opens telegram and same goes for the Spotify so all of the web apps were successfully installed and seems to be working just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.